my teardrop trailer past the roadworthy test with flying colours. I got full marks on the pass and I got my certificate of registration document as well as my license disc. So it's registered, roadworthy and licensed. Before you start your dream teardrop trailer build, go to the local license department or the roadworthy testing station and ask them for an outline on light load trailers. Just explain to them you're building a trailer and you just want to find out what um, the outline looks like. Okay, so they gave me this. Now it's applicable to your country, state, province that you live in and, and it, 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 it's different from, from state to state. So um, get the outline and that tells you where to, what you need to do in preparation for the roadworthiness. So what I had to do after my build is put this reflective tape on certain places on the train. So on the sides, at the back and also reflectors. I had to put white reflectors on the edge of the furthest part of the trailer, which is the mudguard or fender, um, and then a red one at the back. And on the very back, I had to put a, a chevron or triangles, reflective triangles. Um, and obviously, make sure that your lights are in order.